folks. Um, my name is Dan Quattrone, and uh, my plan here, and over the next probably couple of years, is to record essentially what I do as a tool maker and a machine designer. Behind me is one of the latest projects I've been working on. It's a CNC plasma table. It's around four by six capacity. We built it from scratch, we built the gantry, built the sides, bought a controller, got everything hooked up and integrated. It's been an interesting project. We'll talk about that in a later video. Right now though, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm in the mid 40s, it's been a lot of fun. I, um, I've been a tool maker, machinist, industrial repairman, and an automation designer, machine builder for well over 20 years now. And I was pretty fortunate in that I started out in some in a pretty interesting shop. I ended up working for a man named Sam Caldwell and uh, it was mid early 90s and he was a great teacher and I realized that I really need to keep passing this information on that, that he passed on to me freely. So that's really my motivation behind doing this. Um, we're standing in the middle of my shop and in a later video I'll give a tour of that as well. But right now I just want to concentrate on you know, really what I'm trying to do in this. Um, over the next couple of months, I'll have videos on industrial machine repair, machine tool alignment and scraping, bearing replacement, um, CNC programming, CAD work, everything else I could think of that you would need to get started as a machinist or a repairman. Um, I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube, there's a lot of information, there's a lot of disinformation, and I'm sure I'll tell you some wrong things as well as some right things, but I'm going to do my best, and if I get it wrong, Feel free to put a comment, let me know. So I want to learn, I want to get better. Life, life is a learning experience. So um, I'll also include a few jokes along the way because I'm known for my humor. Well, singular humor at least. Um, what am I forgetting, Danny? By the way, off camera is my buddy Danny. He's my cameraman and uh, he runs a shop himself. Does a lot of engine builds and engine tuning. And we'll show him in a later bit of the episode as well. So we're recording. Alright. I shouldn't call it a piggy net, should I? <laughs> Alright. As I said in my last video, I was going to show off the plasma cutter. So here it is. It's roughly a 4 by 6 foot machine. I'm using a thermal dynamics power supply that we have not yet integrated into it. So what we have done, if most of the control is done, we have the gantry built, we have the world's fanciest e-stop one of the Cutler Hammer series. Um, this is not light duty. We didn't use a bunch of bent up sheet metal or 8020 like a lot of guys do. This is heavy wall tubing. It's like 3 sixteenths from here. Yeah, it's like 3 sixteenths wall. Uh, it's fully welded. The sides are 12 gauge steel plate. So is the bottom. The gantry is a thick wall aluminum extrusion. Side plates are one inch thick. We waffle them out, make it look a little bit neater. Used FNMC conduit, full energy chain. We built a real industrial model here. So one of the other things we did was we used the control from our friends in China. This is the F2100B CNC control. It's controlling closed loop servos. There's one for the x-axis and one on each side slaved together for the y and hopefully over the next couple videos i'll show you how to actually run this thing but currently we have all axes moving and we can actually program it to go ahead and cut a circle or a square or anything else using the largely unexplored parts of the control, like the shape library. It comes with uh, 48 built-in shapes. So it's actually a pretty interesting control. Pretty well featured. And it'll take regular G-code off a of sheet cam or Fusion. So what am I forgetting? I don't know, river baked beans? Oh man, that's a great one. <laughs> we'll have to break them into that one later. <laughs> um, one of the other things about me is for the last decade, I've been a college instructor. I work over at community college locally teaching machining. And so I am actually going to record here in the shop a lot of my lectures as well as a lot of expansions on the lectures. 
So if my students want to learn as well, want to follow along, they're welcome to. And if you're just a student of life, hey, it's all free here. So uh, subscribe and like the video. So to program the machine to cut a plus sign. So it's not fully integrated, but we can use the demo mode to actually do it. Still going. Still going. God damn, I ought to give it a joke then. <laughs> you know, Danny, you know later night. My wife and I went over to Carborough for dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Well, it turned out we actually saw a car accident. Now, you know that area. A lot of hipsters, pretty well educated. This poor bastard was crossing the street, a car ran into him. I think he may have been one of the homeless population. So everybody runs up and they gotta help him out. They gotta help. So they call emergency services, they all surround him, they block in traffic, they can't move him. Chance of an auto accident. There might be something going on, internal injuries. So they start assessing his level of consciousness. Now the normal questions, at least from times I've been heard, oh, what day is this? What's your name? Are you okay? And they'll often ask him three times in a row, make sure they get the same answer. Make sure he's not going up downhill or anything. Well, these guys, you know, they're kind of educated. So they ask him, what are all the prime numbers up to 100? Oh, wow. So this guy's just staring at him, slack jawed. And they're getting more nervous because he's not answering. <laughs> well, he's ciphering. And they get to the next question. Well, you don't know the prime numbers. Okay, no prime numbers. What's the height of Mount Everest? <laughs> of course, the guy has to know. Uh, uh, 100 feet? So now they're getting nervous. Everybody knows it's thousands, tens of thousands. So, okay, that didn't work. What else can we ask him? What else can we ask him? What was the War of 1812 about? Oh, this guy had history 50 years ago. He doesn't know. So now this poor bastard thinks he's dying because he can't answer what he believes are incredibly complex questions, but they're posing as incredibly easy questions. And, of course, they all know the answer. So more and more nervous. And, well, eventually paramedics showed up and ran everybody off. And, Hey guys, you know, what day is it? <laughs> what color is blue? Where were you heading? Things like that. You seem to get a lot happier. So, anyway, a little example of my horrific humor. Yeah. I told you it was singular in the last episode, didn't I? So, all right. Folks, go watch something else on YouTube. There's plenty. There's plenty.